welcome you beloved to this cool evening of friday 10th day of july 2020 let us pray session on lagoon radio and lagoon tv on behalf of the right reverend dr humphrey bami shibi olumakaye the diocesan and missioner of legal diocese church of nigeria Anglican communion i am the reverend roland ore Vogene Udowa. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of the hearts of your people be acceptable in your sight, O Lord our God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Our anchor scripture for this evening is Hebrews chapter 4, verses 15 and 16. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 15 and 16. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of our need. Dearly beloved in Christ, in the prophecy of Isaiah chapter 7, Verses 14. When there was trouble in the land of Israel, and the king Ahaz was troubled and confused of where to turn to for help, God sent the prophet Isaiah to tell him that the Lord himself shall be the help of his people, Israel. He shall give him a sign by himself to prove to him that indeed he will be their help. He said, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and give birth to a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. Emmanuel did not just mean God with us, but also the God who cares and knows the pains of his people. I have a mandate from the Lord to tell somebody who is listening to me this evening that God knows your pains. He knows your travails. He knows your affliction. He knows where the shoe is pinching you most. He knows what exactly is hurting you right now. Why? Because he has been there before. In Exodus chapter 3 verse 6 to 8, when God appeared to Moses in a burning bush, he said in verse 7, I have surely seen the affliction of my people Israel, which are in Egypt, and I have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And I have come down to deliver them out of the land of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of the land, unto a good land, and a large land, flowing with milk and honey. So many times, brethren, when we are passing through various challenges and the vicissitudes of life, we are tempted to think and feel that God is far away from us, and that He does not hear, neither does He care about what we are feeling, and passing through. This is not true, beloved. It is one of the tricks of our adversary to rob us of our Father's blessings. In our anchor passage tonight, the writer to the Hebrews is reminding somebody who cares to listen and understand that we have a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. God knows our pains. Not only does He know, He has also come tonight to give us a lasting solution. Hallelujah. When the storms of life keep raging high on us, when it seems as if we have no place to turn to, when upon life below we are tempted to roll, when we are discouraged thinking that all is lost, in such a time, beloved, when we feel that no one ever cares about what we are passing through, always remember, remember, beloved, that we have a high priest who has gone ahead of us seated at the right hand of the throne of the Father and always making intercession for the saints. Amen. Amen. Don't be too comfortable, beloved, my brother and my sister. Don't be too complacent with your challenges and situations that are pressing so hard on you. Have faith in God tonight that this night for you shall never be an ordinary night. So shall it be. It's going to be a night where the host of heaven shall go to battle on behalf of somebody. So that every unfavorable condition in our lives 
will become obedient to Christ. And so shall it be. We only need to surrender our lives to him tonight. Then tell him what the challenge is. And he is able to take care of it. As we pray tonight, let me remind you that Jesus wept at the tomb of Lazarus in John chapter 11 verse 35. Today, I can see him still weeping because of the tomb of disgrace and frustration that are contained to bring down the morals of his people here on earth. As we approach the throne of grace to find help even in our times of need, the God of heaven shall surely deliver us from all our afflictions in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and Amen. Beloved, we go into our prayer session. But first, I want you to say the declaration with me loud and clear. I have a high priest seated in the heavenly throne who knows my pains and understands my feelings, who also is willing to deliver me from them all. Amen. Our prayer today, this evening, say it after me. Oh God, my Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for your care. For me and my family, may your name be glorified in our lives forever, in Jesus' name. I pray that whatever will happen in your life from today will bring glory and honor to the name of our God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Number two, say it with me. Let the power of God that brought out Israel out of the land of bondage be released upon my life and family tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that that power will come into your life to bring you out of every slavery and bondage in Jesus' name. Number three, declare this with me. O oh God, my Father, I decree and I declare that whatever made me to cry yesterday shall bring to me tears of joy tomorrow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord that I serve shall turn around everything that made you cry before to bring unto you tears of joy in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray tonight that the power of God shall visit afresh every abandoned project in your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. We pray and declare tonight into the life of our bishop, our missionary, and our Darcy son, the right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bami Shebi Olumakai and his wife that every arrow of shame that the enemy has shot into their life and ministry and family shall backfire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. At this juncture, beloved, I want you to raise up your prayer points that you have written down in the morning as I pray for you now. Our Father and our God in heaven, your word says in Psalm 65 verse 1 and 2, that praise is awaiting you, O God, in Zion, and unto you shall our vow be performed. O you that answer prayer, unto you shall all flesh come. Your people have come to you with their heart's desire tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I leave them and all their prayer requests before you, O God, that every prayer point hereby lifted before you tonight shall become a point of testimony tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you wipe away their tears as they approach the throne of your grace to seek for help from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for answer prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Beloved, once again, thank you for joining me at this evening segment of the program, Let Us Pray. Please stay tuned to Lagoon Radio and Lagoon TV as you daily enjoy rich spiritual programs that will nourish your soul. All you need to do is to download the app Lagoon Radio for iOS and Android devices on the, from the Apple Store and Google Play Store. Join us also on our Facebook handle at Lagoon Radio Nigeria, on our Instagram and Twitter page at Lagoon Radio NG. You can also join us for regular live video broadcasts on www.youtube.com slash Lagoon TV. Once again tonight, on behalf of the Diocese and Missioner, 
the Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Olumakaye. I am Roland Orevogene Udowa from St. John Anglican Brad Church, Olodi Apapa. Until I come your way again, remain rapturable, and I pray for you that you have a blessed weekend in Jesus' name. Amen.